So I have it drilled. Now I can run that across right underneath there. I want to make sure it's straight. Push down on it. Make a mark where it goes. And now I'll drill that out with my unit bit. Okay, I drilled the other hole and I slid this in, I gooped it, gooped in the pipe. So it looks pretty good. It'll take a 516th up to a 516 python lock because the case isn't real thick. I'll use a thicker tube on a Pelican 1040 case. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use three C batteries for my externals. And I'm going to Scoop this in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a 9 volt battery. So, to wire this in back to the control board. Positive the top one, battery, battery voltage in to the board. Negative is the fourth one down. So this is my battery source. Now if I'm using the slave function, I, want, I don't want to use a 9 volt, I want to use a 6 volt. But since I'm not using the slave, as long as I'm under 12 volts, I'm fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to goop that in. I'll goop the And what I'm going to actually do, I'm going to goop that holder in. And I can keep my battery and I'll hold it nice and snug there. So that's, that, I mean, I don't need to have a battery holder. That's going to work great for me. Just like that. So that's what it looks like gooped down. But don't goop the battery down, just to hold her. Because I'll be able to pull that out and see if it's snug enough that it's not going to bang around inside the case and it'll be fine. So next I would do is um, hack the camera. Put my camera in and hook it up to the board. But right now I can actually program the chip on the AOI board at this point. Um, so we'll let this dry and we'll do a camo setup for it. And that's about it. Now after my holder dries, I can go ahead and put my Fresno on. So I'll group that down. This is actually a used one that I took off another build. And I grouped down my HPWA. Now what else I did I didn't show is I took each screw out and I at the hole I put in goop and I just screwed my screws down to seal those holes for those bolt for the screws. I don't want them to leak. And I got my Fresno on and we're ready. Let things dry and we'll do a camo job and see how it works. Okay, I put the liquid narrow construction glue on. So now I have a 3D effect. Um, all I have to do is uh, 
Well, put my camera in, wire up the externals. Put my externals in my camera, so that's what I'm using. If you're not using externals, you don't have to. Wire my camera, run my wire down, hook on to common. Common is common to the camera. Hook up shutter and power and program the chip and it's ready to go. And there's my switch. Turn the board on and off. That's all there is. Um, hope this helps.